Hey everybody, my name is Bjorn Alpass from the WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress site using a plugin called Backup WordPress. It's a free plugin that you can download right through your WordPress admin area, and it's a great plugin. It's got 4.8 out of 5 stars with almost a thousand reviews, so it's, it's a high quality plugin. The reason you want to have a backup schedule in place is because you never know when something's going to go wrong, and it's going to happen when you least expect it. So you could have a hacker get into your site and destroy everything. You could have maybe your hosting account, maybe their servers go down. Uh, in the past, I had a server and uh, the uh, server farm lit on fire. It just so happened that my server was unaffected, the one that my website was on. But still, it could have been affected. And if I didn't have a backup of, of those websites that were on that server, I'd have been hooped. So... It's a good idea to have a, a backup schedule for your WordPress site. How often you backup depends entirely on how often you create new content that you post on your site. If you post to your site every single day, you should have a backup every single day. So that if you, if worst case scenario, if something goes wrong before the backup happens, you've only missed one day of content that you have to redo. Whereas if you post every single day, but you only back up once a month, you could potentially lose 30 days of work. And on the other hand, if you update your website once a quarter, then just back it up once a quarter. There's no need to go crazy on the backups if you're not constantly changing your website. So let's install Backup WordPress, the plugin. Here we are on the dashboard. And all you have to do is in the left-hand menu, hover over plugins, and then click on Add New. And on the next page, you see a bunch of feature plugins. In the top right-hand side, you want to type in Backup WordPress, all one word. If you do that as two words, like you normally would in the English language, this plugin won't show up. So you want to do it all one word. As you can see, 700 reviews, 5 stars, 1.7 million downloads, rounding up. And it's compatible with the current version of WordPress. I'm running the latest one that was updated today. So these guys are on top of things. And all I'm going to do is click on install. Click on OK. Plugin is installed. It's that easy. Click on activate. And if we scroll down, we see a bit of information about the plugin here. This is also where updates will be shown when there's an update to that plugin. So plugins, they, they often add to menu items on the, on the left-hand side. For this backup plugin, it goes under the Tools menu. And at the very bottom, it added this entry called Backups. So if we click on that, we'll be able to set the settings for this backup plugin. Okay, so this is the Options panel for the Backup WordPress plugin. And it automatically added a schedule for backups for me. So here at the very first entry it says back up my database which is 3 megabytes in size right now daily at 11 p.m. and store the last seven backups in this folder. So it did that automatically. I can choose to delete this or I can choose to leave it. And this is a daily backup and when, once a backup happens it then shows here it shows the backup history in this area down here. We also have the option of complete weekly backups. So here, backup my database and files, which is currently 99 megabytes, weekly on Sunday at 3 a.m. Store the last three backups in this folder. And once you go over those three backups, or in, in uh, the daily case, it was a seven backups, once you go past that number, it deletes the oldest one so that the newest one can fit. So if you don't like either of those, you can click on the delete button for either of them and then click the add schedule tab at the top and you can create your own schedule. On this page is where we set the, the schedule settings. So all the backups go into this folder on the server which is an automatically generated folder and it has this random string of characters in here so that a hacker can't guess what that string of characters is and get into your backup files. Why do they want to get into your backup files? Let's say 
if they um, well if they infect your backup files and then you restore your website from the backup files the restored site will be infected and the hackers will be laughing their heads off so you want to make sure as backup WordPress does that there's a random string of characters hard to figure out hard to get to so that hackers can't infect those files so for the backup settings we can choose to do both the database and the files, files only or database only. And this will depend on, again, how much content you add to the site. So if you do a lot of content writing, but all you do is write posts, just text, you don't add pictures or anything, then you'd be fine with database only because all that information goes into the database. But if you had a portfolio website and you're a photographer and you post a lot of pictures on your site, you're going to want to back up the files as well as the database because the pictures will be stored as files and the pages you create will be stored as text characters in the database. So you want to save both in that case. Most often, you, pretty much everybody's going to want to do both, most often. So I recommend you keep it on both database and files for the schedule. You can either do it manually if you want another pain in the neck or you can make it automated to make your life easier. And you can choose the schedule. The schedule should be chosen based on how frequently you add content. So once hourly, that's like the New York Times and they're posting constantly. They do once hourly backups. Once monthly is someone who posts once a month or even less frequently because there's no quarterly or yearly option. Even if you post less than once a month, you gotta choose the once, month, once monthly if you want it automated. Then you can choose the number of backups to store on the server. Understand there's a limit of 298 megabytes worth of backups. And if you recall earlier, the, my current backup of files and database was 99 megabytes. So we'd actually not be able to fit three Actually, we, no, sorry, we'd just barely be able to fit three. We'd be at 297 for three backups. we just barely fit. And then we have the option of email notification. If you enter your email, when a backup is complete, you will be sent an email saying backup is complete. And if the backup is less than 10 megabytes in size, it will be attached to the email so you can save it on your computer. And when you're happy with these settings, just click on done. So I'm going to choose once daily, and I'm happy with those. And as you can see, it added a new tab here called Complete Daily. Complete being complete backup, and daily being the schedule. And you also have, all these backups are being stored on the server. You also have the option, you can see at the bottom here, to backup to Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, to an FTP account, to Rackspace Cloud, to Windows Azure, and Dream Objects, which is also an online cloud service. So to have these extra add-ons, there's a $99 fee, but you don't really need it. Having your backups on the server is good enough. And if you remember to go in and download them every once in a while and put them onto your hard drive, that's even safer. Or if the, the file size is small enough to have them emailed to you, that's even better. But that's really all you need, just uh, the daily or, or the backup schedule depending on how much content you have. And you don't really need the premium one. If you want the premium, go for it, but you don't need it. So in this video, we learned how to schedule backups using the Backup WordPress plugin. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe, check out our social media pages and follow us, and check out wplearninglab.com where, where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.